I know uh, nowadays uh, there are a lot of people who have motivation to join farming, mm. but then the, some lack information, some don't know where to start from. Uh, in 2023, we are in August. If there is something or any advice you to give to someone who wants to start something like this or venture into farming, what would be your advice to them or to anyone watching us and wants to join something similar to what you're doing? Like you're asking what I would tell them? Yes, what you would tell them, yes. Someone wanting to do this? Not not necessarily mango, like uh, from even the other side. Let's say mango is not even part of it, but entering into find what you are talking about. Um, one of the things I can tell, say is one, the, the first one is every person should possess in them something that be like a belief mm. in themselves. Yes. A belief in you that you should believe in yourself eh? uh -huh. second that there is always something that you can give yeah and there is always something that you can do and do it well if you have those you believe in yourself you believe that there is something you can give and something that you can do and do it very well mm -hmm. that's where it all starts and then take the next necessary yeah take that first step because unless you start you will not start mm -hmm. until you start exactly then you can get to know. then you will move <laughs> but if you don't start then you are not going to move mm. yeah. i love to use the uh, stories from the uh, the bible yes Jesus was walking on the water and Peter was in the boat there and he saw Jesus and Jesus said you come Mm. And you know the story that Peter walked on what? Water. On water. <laughs> yeah. But he had that faith and the belief in order to get to take the first what? Step. And in taking the first step, he had to go and walk on the water. Sure. So anyone who wants to do something, the first thing is take that first step yeah. and have that vision and visual what is it that you really want to do mm. are you going to be there waiting for people to give you something or you are going to be a part of mm. okay? yeah. I, I, I always ask people even there in the guru town people come everyone comes and makes noise 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 mm. and i want to ask people what are you bringing to the market yes yes it's very important. All of us are feeding. All of everyone there is eating. Mm. You're making that noise. What are you bringing mm. to the market? A very important question. It's not about how much money you make, about how what I bring and what it's what are you mm. bringing as an individual to the market? Yeah. Because that actually defines your value. True. You get it. And if someone should have possessed that in themselves that I want to be doing something. I want to be part of all the nyanya eaten in Gulu. 80% I would say is coming from outside Gulu. That is true. true. And not just nyanya, food consumed in northern Uganda city. Yet people consume it every and it is day. eaten too much. Every day. Yes. But it is not coming in Gulu. Now, from Gulu, now what we can do is to say, look, this is what we have. We have resources. Mm. Those resources, the biggest is the market. Everyone is eating. Whatever they get their money, I don't know. So mm. then if there were, now you've been here, if there were 10 of us, yes, in Achoa, doing the things that I do personally here, mm. what difference would that make? And what kind of impact would that have to the market? Yeah. You get it? Yes. Now me, I drive. Mm. I live a decent life. Yes. Part of it is because I also work too much. Mm. You get it? Mm. So if there were 10 of us, 
then there will be more of us. And the more we are 10 of us, the more we also add value. Exactly. To, 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 to where we live. You get it? Mm. The more we be, <laughs> we are useful to the government. Yeah. That there are some of us who are just useless, first to ourselves and then to the whole world. You're just like, there's nothing. Mm. <laughs> so, for you to be useful and to the community, useful to the to the authority, the government, and they, you have to be doing something and take the first step. Yes. yes. And then in doing that, then that's when the communities grow. I was telling you, I'm the only one who got one kilometer. With power. I'm the only one. They all feel it. And everyone know. is free to mm. tap it if they want. Yes. So in other words, they are... But they are not even using it. So the company, imagine one kilometer, the company for electricity is only picking money from me. <laughs> and we are many. You get it? Yes, yes. Yeah. So it's important that people can should start looking into the future and then tap whatever needs to be done. Mm. Because eventually, they are going to need them. And if they have not taken advantage of what's available, mm. then the opportunities are gone. Yeah. Then maybe lastly for today, mm. uh, sometimes people tend to talk too much. Mm. Sometimes people have negative, um, how should I say, negative uh, information or thoughts about certain things. Mm. Uh, what are some of the, the, the wrong ideas that you think people uh, have about farming that maybe it's stopping them from, you know, starting it officially, starting that journey, some of them that you know? People don't have wrong, people just don't have wrong, like, uh, like they are not negative about farming. Mm -hmm. uh, people are positive with it. Yeah. It's only that people just don't know what to do mm -hmm. to make it what they think should be given. Like, they don't know what to do yes. to, to, to turn farming into a profitable business. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Or those that do, yes. they don't have the resources they need. Mm -hmm. um, and then sometimes it becomes too expensive. True. Production can become too expensive, especially when someone is doing it from an ignorant point of view. Mm. When someone doesn't know something, is going to invest money, yeah. and then at the end of the day, they apply the wrong techniques, and then it beats them, and then they get discouraged. So they ignorance would, can play very, very big. <laughs> yeah, just they would have just wasted the resources. Yes. So you want to make sure that if you are going to do, let's say, chicken, mm. Just go and sit somewhere and get to know and see practically do things before you invest your money. Mm, yeah. So people just do things out of emotions without the technical know-how mm. and then it beats them and then they that's that's when they develop wrong <laughs> like wrongly perceived eh? mm. the, the whole business. Oh, okay. okay. Like here if you have noticed here, yeah, we really don't lose anything. On this property, I, I noticed that <laughs> there is nothing we don't use here. From where we came from, we come here. Like you see, mm. some people were asking me, "But why is it bushy mm. here?" Mm. I said, "Well, what's wrong with the bush? Mm. I allow this grass to grow up to that size. Yeah, and then when I come with a machine, I cut it myself." Mm. And then we collect it. You went to the tomato plantation. You yeah. realize that we are using this grass mm. to mulch. Sure. We use everything. Use the chicken droppings. Yes. They, they, <laughs> we see them in the field there. <laughs> nothing is wasted. There's nothing that gets you, unless it is maybe plastic bottles. Mm. But nothing goes to waste here. Yes. And uh, I think that if it's a blessing that we don't like this grass. Mm. Mm. I've cut it, yes. waiting for it. The birds are going to come, we shall collect and keep it, and then we use it to mass. Right. That's why the bush is too much. Mm. 
Yeah, but we need the grass. You, get it. you kept it for the purpose. Yes, for the purpose. And now you've been to the tomatoes, you've noticed it's mm. mulch. Yeah. And we are going to do watermelon second season. All yeah. this grass we are going to collect and pack it somewhere. Yeah. And then we shall use them to mulch. Mm. Wow. Okay then. Yeah, that that's amazing. It's been good having you. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. And uh, I hope we, it works for you. Yeah, it it does. Mm -hmm. It does. Yeah. We hope to to communicate more, connect come and, more. Come yeah. and buy mangoes in the in the same. Yes, I'll surely. The flowers are there. I'll come and you know and see the <laughs> flowers coming there. Yeah.